Hello everybody and welcome to an introduction to the upcoming Binding of Isaac Nuzlocke, the Modlock. It's going to be kind of the same as the Nuzlocke that I did last year, but this time we're going to be using five modded characters instead of the vanilla characters. For those of you that don't know what a Nuzlocke is and didn't see the last one that we did, essentially Nuzlocke is a rule set that derives from the older Pokemon games. And essentially what it would mean in those games is when you had a Pokemon and that Pokemon fainted, instead of being able to revive them and use them again, you would have to class that Pokemon as dead. And essentially it would make every Pokemon that you get into a one life Pokemon meaning the game would be harder and it just imposes more difficulty and a bit more of a strict rule set to essentially challenge yourself. And um, we've ported those rules over into the Binding of Isaac. The way that this is going to work with um, the permadeath mode in Isaac is that we're going to be getting completion marks on the five of the modded characters to gain points. Each different um, completion mark you get is worth a various amount of points. But if you die as that character, you can no longer play as them, meaning all other completion marks are completely locked off and you cannot continue with that character anymore. So you really have to be careful to maximize as many completion marks as you can and die as little as possible because you really this time only have five characters. Last time we were playing from a full save file with all 34 characters. This time it's a much, much smaller and much, much more contained, which means there's a lot more risk involved. The reason that we've decided to just do five modded characters this time around is simply for pacing. Last time it lasted a little bit too long. So this time we're starting on August the 13th and that's going to be going through for around two weeks and you have all that time to try and get as many completion marks as you possibly can. We are also going to be using some additional mods throughout this series. I will link the collection that we are using below, but essentially some of the ones that we're going to be using is things such as the collection collections mods, which you may have seen in my main series. Essentially, they are very, very well polished and balanced mods that add a bunch of new items to the game, as well as a few new mechanics. Um, we'll also be using a few other things here and there, such as some additions to greed mode and my secret room mods, for example, and a few other things like that you'll be able to see them all in the collection that's linked below and also for those of you that didn't see bd1p's initial video announcing the nuzlocke um we had the characters be voted on by the viewers within that video and the the voters came out with the list of five modded characters being andromeda tainted andromeda bertrand arachna and the deleted so it's going to be quite a difficult list, especially with Tainted Andromeda in there. I am sure someone's going to die before they get any marks as that person. And that, that one might well be me. That person might well be me because it's going to be a really, really difficult challenge and a really difficult time. Some other things to note is we are going to be playing on a dead god save file. Um, we're going to make sure the donation machine is unfilled though. It's at zero coins, so there's going to be shenanigans with that. But otherwise, we're going to have all base game content already unlocked. Of course, we'll have the mod to show completion marks and modded characters as well and in case any of you wanted to know the point system is as follows mum's heart's gonna be worth five points isaac and satan are worth 10 blue baby and the lamb are worth 15 boss rush is worth 15 mega satan is 20 hush is 20 greedier is 20 delirium mother and beast are all 25 and to get every single one of these you get a 20 point bonus for a total of 200 points per modded character and a max of exactly 1000 points another thing to mention as well here is we are similar to last time going to have an online scoreboard a website that you the viewer can go and view and check everyone's progress and how they stack up against each other one thing i will note in terms of my nuzlocke series that's going to be a bit different to last time is for one i'm going to be doing them in videos on YouTube in place of the regular series rather than streaming them. I just feel like a lot more of my viewership is on YouTube and uploading stream VODs, especially long ones, is not really the way to go with the series, I think. I think it's going to be much better to upload it as a series. And also, for those of you that are um, excited for it, over the next five days, I'll be doing some practice runs on my YouTube channel in, in, in my own little mini-series as a way for me to practice as the modded characters that are involved. People like Bertram people like the deleted i've not played as in a really long time so it's going to be a good idea to get a, a few practice runs under the belt and just get ready for when we start so we're going to be doing a few practice runs in a little mini series in the days leading up to the 13th and then when the 13th starts we will start our new um nuzlocke modlock series and we'll be uploading that daily as you normally get with your isaac when the, the content's going to be much like the same it's just going to be a uh, 
less mods in the regular series and more stakes in the regular series. We're going to be having to try and play our best and as you guys may have known recently, I've not been playing too well so we'll see how that goes. But it's all just for fun, it's all, it's all just... Um, just for a, a laugh with a few other YouTubers and stuff, so I'm really excited to get involved with it. I'm really excited to get started, and I really hope you guys are excited for it too. If you have any other questions about the rules of the Nuzlocke and understanding any other parts of it, please do leave a comment below and uh, ask me. I will be sure to try and follow up with as many of um, as many of the answers to questions that you guys have so that you guys can understand it and play along at home if you'd like to as well either way i hope you guys enjoy the episode that should be coming later on today and um, that is going to be our first episode of our practice runs and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one